this weekend, millions of people will have their eyes on the sky, witnessing the latest celestial event, the annual solar eclipse. The ring of fire will be visible tomorrow in the Western Hemisphere. And joining us live to tell us more about the eclipse and how to see it safely is University of San Francisco astronomy professor Andrew Fracknoy. Thanks for being here today. Good to be with you. Okay, so first, can you tell us exactly what is happening in the sky Saturday morning that makes it called the ring of fire? Okay, so we have the wrong term underneath. It's not annular. Annual, it's annular, which means ring, just as you said. Um, it's a, a very uh, basic but still spectacular event. The moon gets in front of the sun and hides it. And if you're in a path, where the moon's shadow falls on Earth, you will see the moon not quite covering the sun, but leaving a ring behind, just like we're showing here on the graphic. Now, the Bay Area is not in that path. You have to be up in Oregon to see the full effect, but we're still going to have an interesting partial eclipse where some 80% of the sun will be covered tomorrow morning by the moon. Aha, okay, I was gonna say, why are we all freaking out if it's annual? Thank you for that correction. I am just beyond embarrassed. But now that we've explained that and cleared that up, what is the best way, if you can get to Oregon, you know, if you want the total, but even if you're here, what are the best ways to view it? Should you have any um, instruments or anything you can do that's homemade? Right, those glasses. Right. So there is a project, uh, thanks to the Moore Foundation here in the Bay Area, to distribute 6 million of those safe viewing glasses through 13,000 public libraries. So uh, by now, many of the libraries are out of the glasses. This has been going on for a while, but you might politely check with your library. They're going to be a little overwhelmed today, but check with your library to see if they have any left. But if they don't, don't worry. Here's a simple way to watch the eclipse safely. Don't look at the sun, but take out your colander. Um, colander? A colander, right? <laughs> the, where you wash pasta or yeah. salad. I have full one. Full of little holes. Stand with your back to the sun, hold the colander over your shoulder, and let the shadow of the colander fall on the pavement. Each little hole in the colander will show you the eclipsed sun. Oh. There'll be lots of shadow images of the eclipsed sun. And if you're standing out on the pavement with a colander over your shoulder, neighbors are going to come over to see if you're okay. <laughs> yes, and then you can explain to them that there's an eclipse happening in the sky and share the experience. Or come over for some pasta. Uh, <laughs> right. <yes. laughs> right. Uh, but... You know, we know it might be cloudy here Saturday morning. I think that's what Drew's saying. Yeah. But either way, right. is it worth for us here in the Bay Area specifically to still go outside yeah. Saturday just to see something? Sure. So let's let's give the times. The eclipse starts at 8 in the morning. Uh, it's at its best. The Most of the sun is covered by the moon at 9.20 a.m. And it's over at 10.40 a.m. So you have a lot of time, you have a couple of hours, it doesn't move anywhere near as fast as your beautiful graphic. And so even if it's cloudy at eight, you might go out at nine, check if there's been any break in the clouds. If it's really totally cloudy, the Exploratorium and NASA are simulcasting the eclipse from a clear location. Uh, so you might see if you can get NASA TV or go to exploratorium.org and they will be able to show it to you on TV or some other screen. And in fact, uh, here at ABC7, we're actually going to stream it. So make sure you download the ABC7 app so you can watch it e through us. Even nice and better. easy, Kristen. Yeah, there you go. Right. And it's important, right. right, because now that we've established it's not annual, when is the next time we get the chance to see this again? So the next eclipse that happens in the United States actually happens pretty quickly it, on April 8th of next year, we're going to have a total eclipse Ooh. of the sun, and not from the Bay Area, but in Texas and moving uh, eastward across the country. April 8th, 2024, there will be a total eclipse. So check that out. You can go to a website called Time and Date, and they have an eclipse section, which gives you all the information. But there is another one coming, and then there won't be another one till 2045. So either check the one tomorrow or the one next April 8th, uh, if you're an Eclipse fan. Meantime, we go get our colanders and we're ready to go. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, Andrew okay. Frackley, thank don't you so look much. Through, don't look through the colander. Let it make a shadow with Shut your back to the Got to be sun. safe.
Thank All you, right. Professor Bracknoy. Great to see you. We'll be right back.